And it was actually my wife who said that I was much nicer to live with when I was working on something I was passionate about. And she convinced me to take a six month sabbatical from, from uh, kernel work um, and work on a project, which is basically a side chain. Um, it was called Petty Coin. The word side chain hadn't been invented yet, but it was basically, you know, it's a side chain. It's exactly what we call it today, which would be much easier to explain than trying to convince people that I wasn't writing an old coin. Uh, but the idea was you transfer, you know, petty cash from the main Bitcoin network onto this network, which gave you lower security guarantees, but ideally higher throughput. And then that would be like your spending money. And then, you know, if you've got enough there, you'd kind of transfer it back onto the Bitcoin network where it was, it was safer. So I guess that was my, my interest in, in Bitcoin. And towards the end of that, that sabbatical, Blockstream dropped their sidechains paper. And I'm like, well, sh crap, uh, this, is, this is what I was trying to implement. I really wish you'd drop this at the beginning and not the end of my sabbatical. So they reached out to me and said, hey, we should talk. And shortly after that, I ended up joining Blockstream. Um, but in that, that, that period between the end of my sabbatical and, and then switching to Blockstream, uh, the lightning paper dropped, right? And so here I was, you know, digging into my, you know, rusty C++ skills to kind of, you know, work on, on, on Bitcoin Core, because I assumed that that was what I would be doing with Blockstream. Kind of, you know, Greenfield's project, something I hadn't done before, it was kind of cool. And Greg Maxwell, then CTO, uh, after I'd kind of went across and visited for about a month, said, well, why don't you go implement Lightning? Because at the time, um, the paper had dropped, but there was no intention to actually implement it. So it seemed like something that somebody should do. And I kind of felt a bit of bait and switch there, right? Because I was really looking forward to working with, you know, the Bitcoin core team and kind of getting involved in the Bitcoin project itself. But, you know, having written by that stage, the explainer that a lot of people use to actually read the, the original lightning paper, because it was, it was kind of a dense read. Uh, and so I'd written this sort of blog post on kind of just deconstructing the paper, kind of the primer on how to read it. Um, and and yeah, so it seemed too good an opportunity to, to pass out. I mean, somebody had to do it, right? So I actually ended up writing the first Lightning implementation as it was, uh, and then stepping into uh, a role for standardizing the different implementations that that, uh, that came about around that time. So I guess that gives sort of an intro to, to kind of how I, how I got into Bitcoin and, and then, you know, and, and then into Lightning.